Hey everyone, my name is Brian, I'm the 3D print creator and this is my far from final review about the Anycubic uh, i3 Mega printer that's over there. And well, the Anycubic i3 Mega is a really nice printer that is uh, completely built out of metal. Um, it's very strong, it's very sturdy and uh, it just works very very easy. Now, when you receive this printer, you have to build it together. And uh, building it together is very, very easy. You just have to snap a few pieces together, uh, bolt them uh, with, with some screws, and well, you're good to go. Then you have to make the acrylic stand for your uh, filament. And mm, yeah, I don't love acrylic plates. Uh, they come covered in some plastic paper wrap and you have to unwrap them and that took about 45 minutes while the whole assembly of the printer took only 5 to 10 minutes. So uh, I hated it. That said, when you, when you made the acrylic base, when you have assembled the printer and when you have inserted the filament through the filament sensor inside the printer, then it's time to level the printer and even the paper for leveling the printer was given to you. So uh, you don't only get the printer and the spool of PLA filament, you even get the leveling paper that you're going to use to, to level the bed. After I've done that, um, I started the test print that came on the, the SD cards that I have. And uh, there are two owls and well, they're, they're tiny, nice prints, very detailed, very lovely. And well, the printer performed great. Then I was thinking about upsizing those owls. Um, and I started looking them on the internet if I could find a real detailed file for them. And I found a real detailed file, which is this Voronoi owl. And uh, I found it on Thingiverse, it's uh, I think the same owl that comes with the printer, uh, but now in a Voronoi style. And uh, it printed at 65 millimeters a second, and it printed very, very nice. And that's my thing with this printer. It's smaller than I would have liked my printer. It's, it's only 210 by 210 by 205 millimeters in the Z. So, when I'm thinking of a printer to buy, this wouldn't be my first choice, just because it's, it's smaller than a lot of other printers. But then, seeing that this printer is completely made out of metal, and that it's very sturdy and very rigid, and that it can achieve higher printing speeds, that is something that I really love. I've tried printing with this printer with uh, 65 millimeters a second, with 80 millimeters a second, and with 100 millimeters a second. And I've been comparing that with a few of my other printers. And when it comes to speed, at this moment, this printer outperforms my Creality CR10, my ANET E10, and my Hypercube printers that I made. So when you're when, when your goal is to have a printer that is very fast, then this Anycubic is really a very good printer to have. I must say, however, that when you're really talking about detail in your prints, that I think that the Creality CR10 is just a little bit more detailed. So when, when it's all about detail, I think the Creality CR10 gives a little bit more detail than this any cubic gives. But I have to say that well I've I've been testing both printers for only about 40 to 50 hours. So this is not a final review. I have to do a lot of more testing and then I can tell you guys if what I was telling you just ago is really the truth. Now what did I test already? I've been playing with PLA only that. Uh, I've been printing some parts that were very difficult to print on other printers just because they had some warping issues and well that is very easy with this printer. It not only, it, it not only can print with a very high speed, it can 
only uh, it can also print things that are very difficult to stick to the bed and this is because of the bed that is used in this printer uh, they have an ultra base bed and this is a some some kind of glass plate and on top of that glass there is uh, well some sticky material um, that is rasterized and well you just heat up the bed to 50 or 60 degrees celsius for pla or you can go higher for other types of filament uh, you can go up to 110, de uh, 110 degrees and you start printing on it and then really your print sticks like a charm it, it, difficult corners no problem uh, they will stick to the print bed then when the printer cools down again after your print is, is done uh, you hear a popping noise and then your print is loose you can just take it off the build plate and this is really something that is very very easy to do and that makes printing with this printer very easy so yeah, this printer has some things that are very good uh, high speed, uh, great sticking build plate it also has a little bit less detail than on the Creality CR10 and another thing I really like about this printer is its footprint if you watch here the printer then you see that from there to there I have to watch my monitor sorry uh, it's only 45 centimeters there is no control box aside to the printer it's just the control box that is here because that's the bottom of the printer uh, inside that box there is the power supply there is the controller there is the display that is a touchscreen display so yeah everything is inside that small box and then the whole footprint of the printer is very very small so for example if you're running a printer farm with multiple printers you can have multiple uh, any cubics just uh, standing beside each other now that is really a cool thing I think uh, and because of the filament sensor it detects when it's out of filament and then you can uh, just insert new filament and continue the print with this filament sensor this works so if you're out of filament uh, then you just insert new filament and you're good to resume it also stated on the website of Anycubic that you can do it when you have a power loss but I found out that this isn't true and this is because of the ultra base uh, bed um, when you have a power loss with this printer then you can just start it up again select the same print and instead of clicking the print button you can click the resume button if you do so the printer will resume on its original state where it where it stopped printing but then uh, when it tries to restart there your print is already loose from the bed uh, because it cooled down while the printer was uh, out of power and this means that well basically you, you're not able to resume the print just because it already popped off so I think this feature is great if you're using paper or if you're using uh, another type of print bed maybe some glue or magic glue or that kind of things but it won't work on the ultra base bed and I like the ultra base bed more than any other type of, of material to, to get your print sticking to the bed so well forget about the power down resume function now I'm going to do way more tests with this printer I'm going to test uh, ABS with it I'm going to test PATG with it um, I'm going to test larger prints uh, I'm going to compare it with some other printers I have and this you will see in another video I'm going to make if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel then consider subscribing to it if you do Please don't forget to hit that bell button, otherwise you won't be notified every time I make a new video. If you want to support this channel financially, then you can find the links to Patreon in the description down below. If you have a question, leave a comment under this video on YouTube. You can also visit my website at 3 d printcreatorcom Thanks for watching.